Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Book and a Beer Review. I drink beer and I review indie authors' books. So if you like beer and you like books, hit that subscribe button below. If you are an indie author and you would like your work featured, reach out to me, comment. That's good enough for me. Let me know that you'd like to be featured. Otherwise, come back every Sunday and have a beer with me. Today's beer is interesting. Um, <laughs> strawberry chocolate guilty pleasure porter. We have a strawberry chocolate porter. From who made this? O'Fallon Brewing Company again. Okay. O'Fallon Brewing Company is putting out some uh, definitely variety. And it's 5.7%, so it should be decent. Let's crack this baby open and see what we got to work with. Oh, I can smell the strawberry and the chocolate. Ooh, okay. All right, I'm excited for this one, guys. If it tastes like it smells, it's going to be good. All right, let's give this a try. Holy shit. That's delightful. It's not a heavy port or porter at all. Like, it's very light drinking, but it has a big punch of flavor. That strawberry hits you really hard towards the end. You get hit with the chocolate first and the strawberry comes after. That's really good, though. Surprisingly. Excuse me. <laughs> okay. O'Fallon Brewing Company's Strawberry Chocolate Guilty Pleasure Porter. It's a good one, guys. I quite like it. Today, I'm going to be reviewing Psychic's Aura by Patty Malcolm. Patty is an author out of Canada. She was born in Edmonton, Alberta. Then she spent time in Lethbridge and then spent some time in California. Okay, first, look at her cover, guys. This cover is gorgeous. I love it. I love purple and black. Those are a couple of my favorite colors besides red, obviously. But this cover is incredible. I love it. So thank you, Patty, for sending me a paperback version to add to my bookshelf because it looks so aesthetic there. I love it. This story was super cool. If you're into like witchy, metaphysical, magic stuff, it's amazing. I am into that stuff, so I, I really enjoyed that. So Psychic's Aura, this story follows the main character, C, short for Cynthia, on her journey of self-discovery. C is a psychic and a strong one, but it turns out she has a whole nother side of herself that she needs to discover and master or else she could be putting herself and all of society in harm's way. C is thrust into a world she has no idea about and must navigate many bombshells being dropped on her in her life. I mean, it just keeps coming for this poor girl. Left and right, she keeps finding out more and more information about herself, her past, her family, and it leaves her reeling the entire book. And throughout the bombshells, she also has to figure out who she can and cannot trust, and some of the ones she thinks she cannot trust were those who are closest to her. Can C learn to master all of her abilities before she puts the whole world at risk? She trusts her family. Can she wade and dig through all of the lies that everyone in her life has been telling her for her whole life? And a warning for you, this book's going to leave you on a serious cliffhanger. So, more books! Yes! I loved this story. I was a huge fan of it. It was super easy to read, easy to follow along with. I think it would be really good for preteens and teens. This story would really appeal to that. But then again, I'm almost 30 and I loved it. So. Don't let that age target deter you. If you like witchy, metaphysical, psychic kind of things, this is a good story for you. I fell in love with the main character, C, for all of the things that she is trying to figure out. And she also has a best friend named Snoopy. And he's a ghost. And I really fell in love with him. You got to read more about Snoopy, you guys. But that's about all I can tell you or I'm going to spoil it. So. 
pick up a copy of this book and read about Snoopy. There's also a little hint of romance in this story, and I was living for it, so there's a touch of romance in there for you romance fans. Writing has always been a bit of a hobby for Patty, but Patty was 18 and awaiting her college rejection letters that she knew were coming as she had dropped a necessary course to get into a nursing school and she decided she didn't want to be a nurse anymore. So she went and picked up her hobby to see what she could do with it and she self-published Psychic's Aura. As far as what inspired Psychic's Aura, Patty says she daydreams a lot and her mind wanders a lot. And every now and then, she gets a good story out of it, and Psychic Zora was one of those stories. Now, I mentioned the major cliffhanger at the end of this book. That means Patty's work in progress is the sequel to Psychic's Aura, book two. It will be titled Jin's Halo, and that's Jin spelled D-G-I-N-N. Some spell it just J-I-N-N, apparently. Google's conflicted on a lot, but anyway, Jin's Halo, and it is expected to be released in February of 2023, so I am super excited about that. I'll be pre-ordering it like I am willing to pre-order all of these books that I've reviewed, so absolutely pre-order this. Again, I'll put the link in the description so you can get a copy of Psychic's Aura from Amazon. Patty is grateful to have a mind that can come up with stories and put them on paper. She's really thankful to have the ability to write books, and she very much enjoys it. And I really enjoyed this story, so thank you, Patty, for taking the initiative and writing this and following your dream and making this story a reality because I'm a huge fan now, and I cannot wait for book two. Hobbies outside of writing, Patty loves to crochet and knit, also loves amateur photography, and loves leisure hiking. And a fun fact about Patty, she hates nuts and brownies. I'm with you on that one. For me, brownies are all about the gooey, warm chocolatiness. Where did these nuts come from? Why did people start doing that? Explain this to me. So again, I will link Psychic's Aura in the description below. You can get it on Amazon. I will also link Patty's Instagram there as well. So go give her a follow, guys. Show your support. If you like these kinds of stories, you're going to love Psychic's Aura. Well, folks, that's going to wrap up another episode of Book and a Beer Review. Thank you for being here today, guys. Thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting another incredible indie author. If you like books and beer, subscribe below. And I have a new beer and a new book for you guys every Sunday. So every Sunday, come to the channel, have a beer with me, and enjoy hearing about a new book. Other than that, I hope you all have a great week. Happy reading, and as always, cheers.